Hello, everybody. Welcome to Clearfly Portal Training. My name is Tina Mann, and I will be your host today. In today's training, we will be covering the proposal signing process. This will be a quick 15-20 uh, minutes training in which we will cover the two ways of the signing process of the proposal. Uh, the e-signing process and the hard copy signing process. So what is proposal signing process? Basically, when you send a proposal, it consists of signing of the two main documents, the master service agreement um, and the third party authorization, uh, which is also known as letter of agency. Um, the master service agreement is an agreement between Clearfly and the customer. Uh, this basically provides the general terms and conditions which will be applicable to the customer's purchase of the communication services which are provided by Clearfly. Uh, you can say that uh, the MSA is a foundation for any business to be conducted in the future. Whereas a third party authorization is a document where by signing that the customer is authorizing you, the agent, as a third party, and it gives permission uh, to us, to Clearfly, to work with you on their behalf on managing their services. So for example, ABC is an agent and uh, they, the customer is giving permission to Clearfly to uh, implement the installation of any and all services provided to the customer by Clearfly. So these are the two main documents that need to be signed in this proposal. Um, and the, there are two ways of doing this signing process. Um, the e-signing process, which is the most common as it is the safest and very convenient method for everybody not a you and your customer. It's a quick, easy one. It takes five to seven minutes and they are done. Uh, and then we can, you know, all, you can go to the um, provision and everything can be done very fast. There's a hard copy signing process. Um, some of uh, that is when a customer is requesting uh, to manually sign the documents instead of signing it, uh, through the e-sign process. Um, in this process, uh, the documents have to be created. So the document means the MSA and the TPA has to be created and sent to the customer for manual signing. So if it is for a hard copy signing is for a uh, existing customer, then after building or after sending the proposal to the customer, uh, you can just request uh, one of our Clearfly team members to send you a hard copy of the MSA as we are the only ones who have access to create these documents. Um, and then one of us will send you to send it to the customer uh, or we can send it to the customer and the customer needs to sign it and send us all pages back to us. But if it's for a new customer, uh, then we need to, before creating the MSA, uh, we need to have some information so that we can create an account in order to create the document. So to create that account, we would need the, some pieces of information. So it would be the name of the business that the business is done in uh, uh, and legal name, if it is different than the account name, uh, a tax ID number or the social security number, the mailing address, uh, and then the billing information. So that will include the name of the person, the email and the phone number of the person who's responsible for making sure that the payments or the invoices is paid on time. So once you collect this information from your uh, customer, then you will have to send it to us uh, and uh, we will be able to create an account and create a hard copy of those documents, which we will send you uh, the hard copies to send to the customer again. And then uh, the customer needs to sign uh, the, the contract and return the all pages via email or fax. So we can upload it, uh, um, all these documents that you send in the customer's account on the portal. 
because unless they are uploaded on the uh, account, um, the signed documents are uploaded, we cannot uh, complete the process. And once they are, then only the code is won. And, um, you know, and then that's after that, you are gonna get notified to start the provisioning process. So this is the hard copy uh, process. Just wanted to give you a briefing on that. But let's move to the e-signing process, um, which is um, basically uh, the most common, like I said, and the most convenient and the safest one too. So um, as you might, all of you might know that after you have built a code based on your customer's needs and requirements, and you, know, you send them the proposal uh, with the rate sheet and you know, uh, the prices and everything included, and if um, they agree um, to those terms, uh, they uh, an email is sent to them and where they have the option to accept it and the, uh, they go and then they, um, do the signing process. And that's, it will take them to the onboarding process right away. Um, and that's what I'm going to cover today. So for your better understanding, so you guys know exactly what the customer uh, goes through, um, you know, what's the process looks like. It's a quick seven steps that they do. Uh, and I'm going to use the demo portal just to show you and walk you through these seven steps quickly. Um, and uh, usually you would send that to the designate signer. Um, let me pull that up. Uh, so um, I, like I said, I'm using the demo portal. So this is the email that the customer receives. Uh, so going to the customer's perspective, you will, they will press the accept button. Once they press that, it will take them to the uh, signing process. And this is what the customer sees. So designate signer. So that's the first step. They will get started. This is where the legal name should come of the person exactly. It, there shouldn't be a spelling mistake or anything. So they should make sure. Uh, this is also sometimes if you have sent it to a person who is not the designate signer or who's not legally uh, the signer for this contract, uh, then they can change this name and email and send it to the person who is authorized to do the signature. Um, so, for example, you sent it to Tina, who was uh, the front desk or the receptionist who's taking care of the admin person in the front, but the owner is different. So she, Tina can send it to them and then the document will be created under their name. Uh, so let's say this is Tina only for my convenience here in the demo portal. And um, you, I will just say, yes, she is the designate signer. So she's legally authorized to sign. Uh, next step is to set up an account because it's a new customer. So they're going to ask you uh, for some information. Uh, and we're going to click new customer um, to create the summary account for them. And uh, just the basic, those questions that I mentioned earlier for the hard copy as well. So account or the organization name. Uh, this is basically the organization or the account name that the business has done under or by the name that the business is done by. So we can just say it's Tina's test. And then legal name, if it's different than this, then they can enter it. Tax ID, very important. It has to be done in this particular for format where the dashes should be included. Otherwise, some, it doesn't go through. So they could do the tax ID number or the social number. The tax ID has uh, the two digits and then the other remaining seven. So um, I'm just going to do this for the portal. And next, and then the address. The mailing address is uh, usually in case we need to mail something to the customer uh, through the regular mail. Like, for example, if they're ordering an adapter or an ad fan or a PRI, something, you know, then we just need an address. So that would be on the file. And there you go. Then uh, it'll just make sure they entered everything correct. The signing content is the right name. Uh, next. Uh, now the master service agreement will be created based on the information that we have provided. So make sure the spellings are correct as this is a legal document and everything is correct. 
So now the master service agreement, it'll take a couple of minutes uh, and then a refresh button will pop up because it's gen the system is generating the contract and press refresh and it will take them to the start signing process. Very simple. They'll press the start signing process and it will mention that the, a document has been created to sign and press review and sign. And there you go. It is a legal binding document. So it has to be the person who can sign right here, review and sign. It'll take them to the e-signing process, the, the doc, the hello docs, we use that. It's saying it's not a legal binding because I'm using the demo portal here. So just ignore that. Uh, your customer will find this and then they'll press get started here and it'll take them straight to the signing process. Uh, they can completely review the whole uh, contract now if they want to. Uh, they also have this contract uh, will be posted for them in the account for later access as well. And you would be able to see it too. So they'll press click sign here and they have three options to add their signature. They can just draw something here or they could just choose uh, you know, a, for, a font uh, or a picture of their signature. I'm just gonna do just this one. And there you go, press continue, agree, and signing is successful, done. Uh, rate acceptance, this is basically the same rate sheet that was given to them in the email. And they are basically just acknowledging that this is correct and accept. Um, and then it will take them to the uh, next part, which is the billing information. Um, so this is, a bit, again, like I mentioned earlier, the name of the person who is um, responsible for making sure that the payments or the invoices is paid on time. So Clearfly can email them the copy of invoices and contact them in case of any issues with the payments or late payments. And again, multiple names can be added. Uh, I'm just gonna keep mine, um, but uh, you know, like with the add button, but currently we do need one person. So they can go back later and add more. Next step is to authorize others. Uh, this is to ensure that um, only correct people have access, right? And to request account changes or for the customer, right? Uh, so they can add multiple people here who would have that access. Uh, they can do it now or they could do it later. It depends if they want to do, they can just come in and they can write, okay, uh, I'm gonna say Tom Paul and we'll just add his information here and we can say add. So they've added somebody within their organization who can also have access to the account. Uh, the next, uh, then they can press next. Uh, the next is the pending authorized parties. So what this is to authorize a third party to make changes on their behalf. This was the third party authorization in addition to the users. So those two users, now they also have um, other people like agents has authorized you as an agent, as a third party uh, to help in managing their services. Uh, they can press yes right here. Um, and that's what they need to do. And the document will be created. The customer can also authorize another company that they have uh, business relations with to grant access for helping in managing and maintaining their communication services, you know. So they can do that also here. So press yes, right there. And it's creating that third party authorization um, document right now. And that's what they need to sign, review and sign. Click, simple, easy. And again, because of the demo portal, get started, click signature, sign, insert, done continue, I agree. And like I said, they can review this document if they want to, they can go over basically just um, gives, giving you the permission to work with Clearfly on their behalf, like I said. So an important thing that I had mentioned earlier, people think, okay, they are done. But remember this thermometer on the top, it tells you how much percentage you have done. It has to be on 100%. Even though there's nothing much left, but 
uh, this is, you know, sometimes they'll say, but it's not completed until they press complete. Um, as soon as they press complete, um, you know, uh, it is finishing it up. And that's when the customer, um, uh, you know, the, all the people who are authorized will receive an email through this, right? So if I authorize Tina will receive an email, uh, Tom will receive an email uh, with instructions for activating their login. Um, and the customer can now access their account and create portal login for future access. Uh, the copies of the e-signed documents are stored in the Clearfly portal and can be accessed uh, by all the people who have been authorized. Uh, and then you guys, the agent, will be informed that the customer has completed the account and now you can start the provisioning process. So you will receive an email as well to start the provisioning process. And that's exactly uh, the e-signing process and it's all set. So... Well, that was all I was going to cover in this training. But before I leave, I do want to share our uh, contact information. This is our sales contact team. If you have any questions or anything, you can reach out to us. Uh, the toll-free number here with option two. Uh, we do have our email here in case you want to have general questions. You can always email us at sales at clearfly.net. Uh, Bob Jenkins, Sam Johnson, Rob Lewis are the channel managers. Uh, Tom Hall and myself, we are here to support you anytime in case you can't reach out to your channel manager. Please feel free to reach out to us uh, and we would be happy to assist. These are some other useful emails that will come really handy. Orders department, uh, you can email them at orders and at clarify.net if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, support. If you have any technical or support question, you can always reach them at support at clearfly.net. And if you have billing questions, you can reach uh, billing at clearfly.net. And of course, community, I always say register here. It's a great uh, way of uh, finding out things, learning new things, and we can improve with your uh, comments and your suggestions here. Well, I hope uh, you guys, uh, you know, um, it, this was a helpful uh, for all of you. And this does conclude my training session. Uh, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.